we got a break from the rain, but is it on its way back? Right. <laughs> when does the other shoe drop? Let's just talk about that. Right, right. No, I, I understand. People want the rain and we get enough of it. We're like, okay, maybe you don't want it too soon. Just wash the car, right? That type of thing. Uh, Valley View Cam, take a look at Strat Cam. It looks like the valley is seeing some cloud cover, but not a lot of rain, even though Desert Doppler was showing a little difference. But let me just show you something that might make you feel a little better. How about 45 days until fall? Does that help? Or is that too far out? Too far out, how about this one then? 27 days until Labor Day. Maybe that's something a little more realistic, but that's, I don't know, that doesn't sound like a big number when you really kind of look at it. So anyway, so we'll be cooling things down eventually, right? You know that's the way it's going to work. But so far this summer has not proven to be a, a big summer for the summer monsoon for the valley itself. It seems like all the outlying areas have seen all the big rainfall southeast, northwest, but there's still a little leftover moisture and you know with the daytime heating, no surprise, it heats the lower layers and we see the air rise and it has to rise to cool and condense and to create some of this. So that's all we're really seeing out there right now. Nothing uh, really impressive. Futurecast keeps it all out of the way for tonight and really for tomorrow. So we're going to start to see that drier punch of air continue across the valley and you get a nice drier punch in and it, it won't make things desert dry, but it'll certainly make it noticeable. And then that doesn't last very long but it lasts long enough to keep the thunderstorms out for most of the week. But watch, as the drier air punches in, you can see all that's all the deep moisture down to the south, but it gradually works its way back in by the end of the week and maybe the end of the weekend before we even see a storm again. So that might be something to look forward to before it's all said and done. Let me show you what the seven day says about all this. Uh, the setup is this for the weekend. Like I said, end of the weekend might be the best chance to throw in a thunderstorm. If that changes, of course, we'll give you the first alert, as we always do. Overnight lows in the 80s, afternoon highs get warmer because we dry things out a little bit better. So notice by midweek, we're back up to desert conditions again, only still a little sticky. But a little instead of a lot sticky. I think that's the bonus of all of that until the moisture makes a comeback by the end of the week into the weekend. And that's when we start to see the changes up. And that'll mean uh, temperatures drop a little bit, but also mean that the chances for thunderstorms improve as well. All right, back to you guys.